couple of variations to a common theme there. Number one, there was actually traffic back there. Never usually is, certainly at this time of day. And number two, you're getting that, different shoes. There's more. Maybe it did see it just then, but I don't know, so I'll just be sure of that. Wahoo Power Link pedals. So easy to pair, bloody unreal. Like technology these days, I mean, I'm not gonna give you any sort of tech review here, but I will say pairing power meters used to be like a full Sunday job. Now it's done in about four seconds. If you wanna see terrible traffic, get up early on a Tuesday morning on the 29th of November 2022 and go riding in Sydney. Yeah, there's pretty lights as well, but like, oh, I've been on the bike for three kilometers. That, and that three kilometers was just, God damn, absolute mayhem, total and utter mayhem. And uh, I'm pretty convinced that police just go, oh, I'm tired. Let them break the rules. It doesn't matter familiar sight but notice anything different I've stopped I don't usually do that but I've decided I'll um, throw caution to the wind and go a different way uh, I just momentarily just because I'm trying to show off that I've changed pedals and um, he says trying to clip in there we go and I thought this might give me a nice little uh, backdrop I film that Ferris wheel pretty much every ride and uh, I'm never tempted to go on it. And um, I haven't ridden down here for a long time, but I'll just go up, make my Strava fire look all weird, and then I'll go back and film my pedals with the cityscape in the background. Just because, just because, that's, that's just because there's no reason other than I felt like it. They've extended that sculpture. On top of the balls are now cubes. And um, if you saw that scene that I just showed you earlier, prior, previously showing off my pedals and the boardwalk, then um, it's not from my videos because it's the first time I've filmed that ever. It's quite nice though, wasn't it? I thought so. He says dodging bollards uh, over Piermont Bridge towards the city on a very, very, very tranquil wind day. Have a look at this flag action. See that? Flaccid. Yeah, another different direction. You're getting all that Christmas love. So why are you going this way, Rob? Well, I went to go and see a mate who owns a coffee shop, York Lane, Dieter. Fantastic bloke, great coffee. Anyway, he wasn't there, so now I'm in Martin Place. Taking in the sights and the scenes that I haven't seen for a bloody long time. Anyway, there you go. Swell's gone. So through the city, but back to my usual, Commuting hour for the uh, scuba divers. It's not commuting, it's, it's their thing, isn't it? Uh, diving hour. So we're out to Cape Banks along Pothole Alley and um, hopefully I won't get the bike too dirty because I think I might plonk myself. Come on, Giz. Uh, plonk myself down at the end and just give thoughts about this bike 
and the change of shoes and a power meter and you know my experiences from the first four rides and this being the fifth pair. Oh, it's good to be back. It's been a while, so I can't remember the last time I was here. Certainly went flies around then. Anyway, uh, there's my bike, it carried me here. To be clear, it's not my bike, it's a test bike. There it is. Okay. Got it. Okay. I think I sucked my guts in while I was doing that. I'm gonna go and sit down there and conjure some thoughts about my ride and my bike and the flies. There we go. Light as. Saddle's not hurting me today. Is that because I changed shoes? I don't know. <laughs> I was being ironic. I didn't mean that. Uh, which seat? That one or that one? Uh, I'll decide. I won't bore you with the decision making process. Pretty nice though, isn't it? Rhetorical question. All right, so I found the other day when I stopped and um, decided I would talk about the bike, it was easier than riding along and trying to talk about what came to mind. So let's just get that set up in the correct way. I used to do valves on the bottom, but it seems uh, that the tire manufacturers didn't like that. So they put their logo, yeah, anyway. So fifth ride, fifth ride, fifth ride. And I had a longer one on Sunday, which was two days ago. And then I took yesterday off just to basically allow my body to recover. I didn't go that far, admittedly. I, I did about a hundred, just shy of a hundred K, uh, but I copped the pounding. So. I talked about it before my ride, I don't know if I'm going to show that video, but this is uh, what I attribute that pounding to. In other words, straight posts, choom, straight up into the, into the sit bones, to the sit bones, to the sit bones, and pretty much zero comfort from that. I, I'm sort of toying with the idea of putting a different uh, saddle and seat post configuration on just to see how that works out. I don't mind keeping the same saddle or at least adjusting should that work out with a different seat post. So it'll be the Canyon one. And if I publish this video, I'll put the picture of the Canyon one in there now. Or there or there somewhere. And um, it's also a physics saddle on that bike. So that's what the plan is to try and remedy that situation. Fifth ride and I've gone for these, which are Wahoo power link pedals. See if I can get that in shot. Are you getting that? Dink, right? I tried to show them off uh, earlier on this ride. And uh, when you pedal, they go, the, the LED lights go blue. And the pairing with your Wahoo Element Bolt or whatever computer you choose to use is so easy, it's ridiculous. And I'd gone four, four rides without um, power, so I was like, missing it, I suppose. And then I just feel a bit weird when I'm looking at the Strava file and it's giving me the estimates because I can't remember what weight I put in on Strava. So I don't know if it's estimating correctly. And um, I prefer to see the, the correct data. So just a tip uh, for uh, people like myself who just bang on the pedals quite loosely. With the uh, power links, you've got to put them up to a torque setting of heaps. The number's just there. And um, and I don't know if I did that today exactly, so I might not be getting the exact data. So what I might do is go to somewhere which has got a really powerful 8 mil hex key with a torque wrench and get them to do the correct setting and then I might do exactly the same ride again and compare and contrast the data. How about that? <laughs> Hardly. I'm not going to do that. Now, see that? It's, it's pretty much, I think it's sort of being marketed as pretty much a, um, a bloody beautiful bike, admittedly, like glorious colours, but also like a race aesthetic, a race, a race cut, yeah, because it's got, the length is correct for me, it's actually a bloody beautiful length and I'm really satisfied with my position, I'm actually going to show you, well, I actually haven't seen it, so here we go, alright, maybe, maybe it'll work out like that, 
like I feel like I've got a real flat back, it feels good. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway. So I like that position. Length, good. Height, it's a little bit, it's actually, I'm gonna put the three bikes, having trouble with the counting of my fingers today. Uh, I'm gonna put the three bikes that I've been riding of late, this one, the Trek Domani, and my focus is Alco Max next to each other and I'll show you the height difference. It goes like, this one is low, then up here and then like here, but not quite, but it's, one is a comfort bike. One is my bike and one is this bike. So Trek being the comfort bike, the Focus is Elko Max being my bike and um, there's a fair dose of stackers on my bike. So I think actually the frames are more or less similar, but I thought, well, if I've got this as a review bike and it's meant to be racy, I'll try the, the lower position and just give it a burl. On Sunday, I had some regrets about that. I was thinking maybe that's why I'm a little bit sore, but I don't know. I just, maybe it was just because I ate a really big eggs and beans before leaving and it might have just been, no, I don't know what it was. Anyway, I feel much better today. I feel great. I had a good sleep and I'm ready to go. And I've got my power and I've got my giant, uh, forget the name, shoes. Okay. And there they are. Okay. I sort of have... I, I wasn't sure if I was going to use them again because I got a little bit of a bruising on my foot one time. But I put them on today and they're bloody fantastic. They're, they're super light. They're comfy. You've got heaps of adjustments. Uh, I saw Ryan O'Keefe out the other day and he's got a pair and he said they're just slightly too narrow for his feet. So he's gone back to his Shimano's. Yes, I can't remember what they're called. And um, I said, actually, I'm going to try the giant ones again, which is what I'm doing now. And I'm pleased that I did because they look great. And um, I was thinking after a couple of or four rides, to be precise, on the... Nimbles, yeah, Nimble Ultimates, that I, I can't go back to other shoes because these are the ultimate, because they are bloody unreal, like they're just super duper. And they're super stiff and really light and I love the action, but yeah, no no complaints about this combo. Giant shoes, Wahoo pedals, LaPierre bike. Didn't have a drink yet. It's a pineapple juice day. Once a week I put pineapple juice in my bin when I ride. And I forget which day it is until I'm out drinking, like I just did then. And then I go, wow, that's a treat. Not pure pineapple. About that much pineapple, the rest water. Okay, what about the bike, the bike, the bike? So, I talked about it before. I gave you a big history about STI. But what I will say is I, um, I really like, I, I love, love the position and uh, the ergonomics. They really suit me. I did sort of think once or twice, maybe you could pinch yourself here, but you'd have to really be concentrating on doing that and, and like striving for it. See, I put my finger in there and then if I let go, that pinches, but you'd have to be pretty stupid to do that. But I do do a lot of braking like this and I love that. Like, look how that, look at that. That's, I'm talking, not using the lever at all, but that slows you down really significantly. So brakes, very good. I don't know if I mentioned that the first time. Uh, shifting, I'm fine with it, fine with it, fine with it until I've gone a while without shifting and then I'm like, go back to the old habits of SRAM. So I am going to switch that over and mess around with the Shimano app. Well, they say it exists, so we'll see if I can conjure that and then work out how to, you know, just flip around. Might do sequential shifting and different things like that just for just for, for the review. Um, the ratio is all entirely different. So... I'm sort of trying to find my sweet spot. There's one, I think it's one, two, three, fourth down. There, yeah, I think it's the fourth down on the on the cluster, on the cassette, which is an 11 to 30. Um, just on that one, there's like a little bit of that in the big ring. And then if you go up or down, then it's completely silent, smooth, beautiful. I was told that one of the real features of the new DI2 is that it's super fast. I dispute that. Yeah, you know, maybe the Altegra is not as good as the Durace or something like that. But yeah, it's quick. It's super quick. But it's not like 
whoa, lightning, you know, like, yeah, it's, it's good. Um, so that's just a little, uh, it's, it's not, I'm not saying it's bad. It's, I'm saying it's bloody impressive, but there is sometimes quite a grind. Like on Sunday, I was changing gears a hell of a lot because I was go, just messing around, just trying to find different, different combos and find out what it might be if it was sequential. I was just doing that for my own amusement. And there was some where it was just like, <laughs> like no, not what's making duck noises, but you know, like it was sort of whatever. Lucky there's no one around, isn't there? Um, yeah, I put some lights on because that's sensible. Uh, what else has stood out? That's for, for now. That's pretty much it. Get my valve right. Um, I'm going to have a look at the menu. I did. I just put in 58 psi just based on a hunch, but I haven't looked at the Goodyear or the Shimano menu to say, hey, for 67 kilos, which is my weight today, uh, this is what the psi should be. But I've got 58 in there now. The other day I thought. I think they've been overinflated, but that's only because, I don't know, maybe the hook rim's pulling them in so that it's like 29.6 on a 32 mil, which doesn't really make sense, but that's, they're 32 mil tyres, but the calipers show 29.6 or something like that. I've talked about that before. Yeah, I'm curious to see how long the DI2 battery lasts, but I don't really want to let it go flat while I'm out, so... If, has anyone done that? And if so, can you give us more or less an estimate of how long it is until I have to recharge? It's back on my sunnies. Could you do that? Okay, thanks. Oh, I think that's enough. All right. Um, I forgot to mention the saddle the other day, but there it is. So that might get switched out. Or it might not. And there you go. Uh, cool. There we go. Thanks for watching. See ya. I think that's enough for today. All right. I wish I'd filmed that, but like literally, I just thought that stick looks appropriate. And and I did it because I'm going to do. Oh, it's something that floats my boat. Maybe it doesn't. I just find it funny, so I'm going to do it.